casserole. And I'm going to show you how to make the sauce, which is a salsa ranchera. And I have two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I'm going to chop half of a white onion. I'm going to add the onion. And I'm letting it soften. Mm. And then I'm gonna chop two garlic cloves. I always like adding the garlic after the onion. It's just quicker to cook. And then I am adding two chiles jalapeño. You can use jalapeño, you can use serrano, you can use the chile güeros. Okay, oh yeah, the onion was starting to brown. We have charred tomatoes and we're using the skin seasoned core. Everything goes in. So I love baking, but you know you have to juggle. My dad was not good at juggling some things when I was growing up. I used to do ballet every afternoon after school, and I don't think I could even number the times he forgot to pick me up. But then the times that he was there on time, he would take me to a bakery talking about baking that had the most amazing German chocolate cake. So those really sweet and good times at the bakery were so good that they made me forget about those other four times that he was late. It's starting to smell like breakfast in here. Going to sprinkle a little salt, a little black pepper. What a treat. So now that everything is sort of coming together, I'm going to add a cup of chicken broth. As this cooks, it needs like five or six minutes. I'm going to start assembling my breakfast casserole. You can make this casserole individual or you can make it family style. I tend to go for family style. I'm going to crack some eggs in here. You know what, I can do six. Love the sound of eggs cooking. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some salt and then I have the heat over medium low because I don't want the eggs to cook really fast and I don't want them to cook all the way because then we're gonna put them in the oven for a second. So I'm gonna cover them, they're gonna be here just for a few minutes and I'm going to assemble the casserole use any baking dish. I'm using a round one here and I'm going to add some refried beans. Now you can make your refried beans at home or you can buy refried beans or you can just buy cooked beans from a can. Mash them up. Season them with a little bit of oil and cooked onion. Mm. So there goes your quick mash and here I already have the refried. a layer of ham. Just love layered casseroles. Because I love eating lots of things at once in the same forkful. So here you're gonna have the beans, you're gonna have the ham, and then the eggs. And here we are going to put them all on top. Just want them to set. tomatoes smell amazing you have the beans and the ham and the eggs and the super flavorful salsa ranchera and then queso oaxaca i have my oven at 400 and this is gonna go in there for just like six to eight minutes i just want the cheese to melt and the egg casserole is ready this looks good. Oh, that was big. I just caught myself a huge, gigantic piece, which I am going to eat. The beans, the salsa, the cheese, the ham, the eggs, the everything. Mm. My family makes fun of me because I take gigantic bites of things. Oh, the cheese is so gooey. Mm. It's like a 
out of this world. Mm. Even though it's in the oven, the yolks are still soft. Mm. I can keep eating this all day.